Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talks Predictions video. That's right, I'm doing the Super Showdown predictions that at Melbourne Cricket Ground in Australia. God, it's a hundred thousand seater. I've heard they haven't sold it out, but there's, it's going to be quite a big crowd as it is. So I'm going to be excited about this. Uh, unfortunately, this is not a normal predictions video. Usually, when we do a predictions video, I also get Mr. J's predictions, and then we will see who wins the the belt. But because Mr. J thinks this isn't a proper pay per view, he's refusing to do it. So in other words, he's become Brock Lesnar on Smack Talk. He's refusing to defend the belt. So, oh well, I'll just give my predictions instead. So hit, let's hit the music and let's have a look at all the matches at Super Showdown. So the first match we're looking at is most likely going to be a kickoff match. It's the 205 Cruiserweight match. And that is Cedric Alexander, the current 205 champion, cruiserweight champion versus Buddy Murphy, the homeboy himself. I think this could be a sleeper match. I think this could be the match where it's one of the most talked about. If you haven't been watching 205 since Triple H has been taken over, why not? It's freaking awesome. And second, I think these guys are going to steal the show in some way. I think they're going to pull off some moves, which will really get the crowd excited. And it will probably try and get an audience to watch 205, because why not? It's freaking awesome. How many times do I have to say this, guys? Come on, listen to me. But yeah, I am super excited about this match. I think it's going to be a close, close match. I think uh, Murphy might just almost get the pin, but I think Cedric Alexander is going to pull it out of the bag and keep being the a pretty decent champion as we've been having for quite some time so for me i'm really looking excited next match we're looking at is the tag team match between the iconics the home girls uh coming back to australia versus asuka and naomi now i don't know how i feel about this yes their matches have slightly gotten better on smackdown still don't care about this rivalry but what if it could lead to something you know to evolution and there's you know, rumours people have been talking about online that this could lead to a tag team division, then yes, I would be super hyped. Because there's nothing really... It's it's no... There's no title shot after this. There's no nothing after it. It's just a tag team match as we speak. I'm not super looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to Asuka and Naomi probably kicking ass as usual. You know the Iconics are going to get a huge home crowd welcome and probably support them mostly but it'll be interesting to see so for me we'll have to wait and see i am still going asuka and naomi because let's be honest it just makes the most sense next up we're going to look at another tag team match and that is for the smackdown tag team championship between the new day the current smackdown champions versus the bar because they don't just set the bar they are the bar. Why did I make a pirate voice? Why? Oh, well, well, anywho, I'm... I'm... Oh, this is a close call. I know it's going to be a good match. I know these guys can have fantastic matches. After last week's episode of Smackdown where we got New Day Cooks, which was terrible, by the way. By the way, I found out Mr. But Beauty... Uh, the, the butler is... Mick Foley's son did not realise that until the other day. He learns something new every day. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with New Day. I still want to see the bar hold the titles at some point, but I just can't see him losing the titles just yet. Maybe, maybe coming up to Survivor Series, maybe that. But for right now, I'm I'm gonna stick with the New Day. Next up, we're gonna look at probably one of the bigger matches of the night. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. Now, let's be honest, this match finally has something to fight for. It finally has a number one contenders for the WWE title. And I really, really want to see something awesome happen here. So I'm going with The Miz. Mainly because I want to see The Miz get the number one contender. I think he would be so good. I think he'd be brilliant at that number one contender because he's just so... He, if he beats Daniel, that's fine. But if Daniel wins, 
what what would we rather see? Daniel Bryan versus Samoa Joe, or Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles? I, let's be honest, I'd love to see both those matches, but I would love to also see The Miz versus Samoa Joe, or The Miz versus AJ Styles as well. So either way, we win as fans. This is the best thing. But yeah, this this rival has really grown better and better now they've added this stipulation, whoever wins gets the title shot. I'm just super I'm more invested in it. So yeah, whoever wins, we win. So again, really looking forward to this match. Next up we get another tag team match at Super Showdown, and that is John Cena teaming up with Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens and Elias. Yes, John Cena who hasn't been seen since WrestleMania? Yeah, WrestleMania, I'd say that, yeah. WrestleMania is now back and he's going to have a team up with Bobby Lashley taking on Kevin Owens and Elias. Well, we all know who should win, Kevin Owens and Elias, but let's be honest, it's Big John Cena and Bobby Lashley. Now, I have nothing wrong with Bobby Lashley. I know a lot of people don't like him and think he's a bit dull and, you know, boring but I actually don't mind him but I I am a huge Kevin Owens fan I think Kevin Owens is one of the most underrated heels in in all of WWE right now but I can't see John coming back and losing unless he's the Undertaker so it's gonna go John Cena and Bobby Lashley. So we're going to have a look at another title match and that is the Smackdown Women's Championship match between Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. Now my heart says Becky, my brain says Becky, but I have a feeling deep down in there that it's going to be Charlotte. I do think Charlotte's going to win as well, and that's the worrying thing, because I know WWE quite well. Oh, are you really enjoying Becky Lynch being this anti-babyface heel where she only cares about getting what she deserves, and the crowd agreeing with her, because damn, she does deserve everything she Charlotte gets, but this is WWE, and they're going to easily go like that. Nah, Charlotte's now champion again. We, I can see it happening. Let's be honest. This is WWE we're talking about. But no, I, I'm I'm going to go Becky. I'm going to go Becky because she deserves a long title run as one of the baddest women on the planet. She's awesome. So let's look at another women's match. And that is the six-woman tag team match between Ronda Rousey, the Bella Twins taking on the Riot Squad. I honestly don't care. I know it sounds bad, I know it sounds really bad, but I should actually care. The only thing I care about is seeing how awesome Ronda's going to be in the ring because she is the best thing in this match already. But I just feel so sorry for the Riot Squad. Now the only thing I could see happening is if the Bellas lose by being defeated by the Riot Squad, which is not going to happen. And then Nikki turns on Ronda blaming her. But that's definitely not going to happen. So I'm going to go Ronda and the Bella Twins with Nikki Bella turning on Ronda Rousey. Because it's WWE and let's be honest, Nikki Bella's never been really good face. She's always been a decent heel because she is a bitch. So yeah, this is what the match I am definitely the most looking forward to in this all super showdown. Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles for the WWE title. This should be the main event. Just saying, this should be the main event. If we didn't have two part-timers who are definitely going to have the main event spot. But this match, this the build-up to it, everything WWE on SmackDown Live has been doing with this rivalry has been absolutely brilliant. I don't think I've enjoyed a rivalry this much since Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa on NXT. That's how good this rivalry has become for me. So I'm going to go with Samoa Joe. That's right, I'm going for The Miz to win the title. That uh, number one contender. But I'm going to go Samoa Joe. Yes, I want to see a title change, don't get me wrong. I know it most likely won't happen because let's it, 2 k 19s just come out and AJ is the face on that game. But I just, I want to see Joe hold a title now. He's so good as a heel. He was good as NXT champion. Let's just give him the title. He will carry it. He doesn't even have to be a long run. We could have The Miz 
AJ Styles, Daniel, hell, have double count on for Daniel Bryan and the Miz so we can have a four way match for the WWE title. I won't mind that. Either way, I don't care who wins because I know this is going to be a freaking awesome match. But I'm still sticking with Samoa Joe. Next up, we're looking at the six man tag team match, and that's going to be The Shield versus Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre, the Raw Tag Team Champions. It's going to be The Shield who wins, but what could happen? That's the more important thing. Uh, let's be honest, Roman's probably going to get a spear win. Yay. But. Who do you think's going to turn on his team? Now, everyone is pointing at Dean, but I've got a feeling it's going to be Dolph who turns on Braun. I think Dolph and Drew will turn on Braun Strowman, turning him back to a baby face. This allows Roman and that lot to continue rival having their own rivalry at a later point, but for me right now, I just can't see Dean turning heel anytime soon maybe near the near to wrestlemania maybe but for right now i'm going for the shield to win and i'm going for dolph ziggler to turn on braun Strowman. last but not least it's our main event and it's triple h versus the dead man the undertaker both men will have someone in their corner triple h will have Shawn michaels and the dead man will have his brother kane in his corner well, let's be honest guys, this could go either way, but I just can't see Undertaker losing, but I can see Shawn Michaels getting involved and maybe leading up to a match in the future, maybe? Let's hope so. But there you go, I that's my predictions for Super Showdown this year, this, this Saturday, tomorrow, my time. But yeah, what do you guys think? Who's your prediction? Leave it in the comments below. If you do like our videos, please like, subscribe, and press the notification to keep up to date with all our videos here at Smack Talk. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, and follow us on Twitter. I forgot. Follow us on Twitter at Smack Talk YouTube. That's YouTube. And follow me on Twitter if you want at Boise88. And like I was going to say, I'll see you guys next time on our Smack Talks Smackdown. Smackdown, Super Showdown, Down Under, review.